on the rocks. Are, what? The rocks are steep and slippery. Your kayak will go right in. Good luck explorer. It's another Friday afternoon. Gordon and Dave are out again. And we're back on the Grand River. The rivers are actually still low. Actually, we haven't had much rain in the last month. We've had about five millimeters of rain. So, unfortunately, our favorite spots are still too low to paddle. So, we've come back to the Grand. We are actually now in Newport, just below the Oxbow. So, at the end of the Oxbow, the pull-out spot for the Oxbow. And we did the Oxbow last year, but we did not do this section of the river because, quite frankly, it's all flat water. And at the time, we were getting great weather for doing other parts. So we explored a lot of the myth, for example. Um, but uh, today, because the water levels are low everywhere else, much like our St. Mary's paddle, we're out doing a flat water paddle. We're going to do 15 kilometers down to Chiefs Woods uh, Park in Onondaga. We, um, we're going to paddle down to Caledonia, but that's another 10 kilometers. And Although this is not a hard paddle, it's all flat water. The river's quite wide as we get further downstream. And more importantly, um, you start getting into some pretty significant headwinds. So as we get further downstream, we'll start to feel the breeze. And it's gusting up to 30 kilometers an hour today. So I doubt as we get further downstream, we're going to make much headway. So this would normally be a four-hour paddle for us. But I think because of the wind that we're about to run into, this is probably going to be about four hours. But so we'll see. Another beautiful... Uh, early fall day. The, uh, the leaves have not started to turn in this part of Ontario yet, but it's uh, still gorgeous. The weather's 24 degrees Celsius, so uh, another great day to get out. And we wanted to get out on the water because uh, the paddling season is running out. I saw a heron already. I saw it here. Yeah, there's a hawk up there too. There he is. Yeah. Well, if you don't paddle, you could go backwards right away. I'm kidding, eh? Well, he's just riding the wind, <laughs> looking for a fish. Oh. You know what? We're not in a hurry. We've got all kinds of time today. We've got nothing but time today, Gordon. That's right. Straight into the teeth. Holy crap, four hours of this, Dave. I'm gonna kill my golf game tomorrow. That it is. Well, 
this a little bit better than mine does. Oh look, what's that? Is that an eagle or a hawk? You should cut through the water better. No, you seem to be managing a little, a little bit better than I am. You're definitely tracking better than me. I'm having to fight this wind more than you are. Although I don't want to be down, down, uh, downwind from you though, because as you're paddling, the the, the the spray off your paddles is actually flying in the air and getting me wet. <laughs> Yeah, again, it's, it's a new piece of river, right? You, at least you can say you've done it once. And the good, and the good news is if we like this, then the trip from here down to Caledonia is a really short paddle, so. We're definitely out on the, uh, going out in the country. So the difference between this and then what we did two weeks ago up in St. Mary's is we won't see anybody on this river today, at least not in a, in a kayak. We'll see a couple of power boats maybe as we get further down. Yeah, there was a guy dropping a power boat when I first pulled in. Probably going to get down here. That would take. Yeah, you could get you from here. You could get all the way up through the Oxbow, eh? Yeah. That's a good stretch of river if you've got a boat. Our paddle. We'll still maintain four kilometers an hour that far. I mean, I don't think it'll be. More than four hours. We're doing four minutes. We left the kilometer in 15 minutes. I don't think. So. Not if we stay out in the middle of the river like this and fight fight the white caps. Kind of gives it a little bit of excitement. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yes, we knew what we were getting ourselves into today. There is a point at which you do not make forward progress into a headwind, though. Okay, now that the wind is, is actually dying down a bit, Gordon, this is actually now growing on me, this paddle. Hey? <laughs> With a great big grin on your face. <laughs> uh, okay, I want you to turn that damn camera back on and tell it to the camera. <laughs> Local option. Yeah, no, I know. Driving two hours to get somewhere is not that appealing. So we're about an hour down river now because we've been one of the key problems with the paddling links part of the Grand River is it's hard to find places to stop. I'm not sure this is a park, but it looks like you can probably stop here. Um, although there's folks cutting grass right now, but I think if I do paddle the stretch river again, an hour south of uh, uh, the Oxbow, where we put in down uh, below Newport, an hour's paddling to the wind, and this is a great spot to stop. the sides of the river because uh, as you get around the corners and you get back out towards the middle it's it's pretty windy Ooh, a little turtle out on the middle of that rock over there hey eh, Gord a little bump of turtle He's got a kayak ramp for starters. Huh? It's a kayak ramp. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Man, you can get in and out of that in the kayak. Kayak, that's amazing. That's kind of cool. 
On the other part's floating dock. He's just kind of let it flow yeah, down the hill. Got the little kayak shooting. Yeah, it's just a it's a it's a floating dock, and then you just uh. That's it. That's another invitation to stop. that foot later. <laughs> All right. Well, we took a quick break there to actually uh, do a battery change. Um, I think based on Google Maps we're on this church uh, on the on the West Bank side. So wherever that church is. That's where we took our, well, it wasn't the really first break because the cord didn't even get out, but it was a, enough time for me to change batteries. But on the edge of fourth line anyway. So I think that we are more than a, you know, a third of the way there, almost halfway there at least anyway. It's uh, been on the river now for an hour and a half, which we thought was going to be a three hour paddle anyway, um, but I think we probably have two more hours. Yeah, and you do see power boats in this section of the Grand Actually, You can get all the way to the top of the Oxbow on this stretch of river. So um, from, you can go from Caledonia all the way up. That's probably got to be 40 kilometers of river that you can get a boat up. Which is the other reason why we don't come down this stretch very often. It's usually windy, and you get some boat traffic. Now, we're, you know, in the, the end of September now, so I wouldn't expect to get a lot of traffic unless people are fishing or hunting and actually it's the hunters you kind of have to keep your eye on them for. All right turn in for a sec Gord. Turn in. No, you're good. Twenty kilometers an hour, gusting to thirty. That was the weather forecast, and I would think that uh, if you were uh, being smart about this, you probably don't want to do this section of the river because you're creating a lot of work for yourself you're trying to paddle into this headwind. And um, we are about to enter a section of the river where. It starts to get pretty straight. Now, normally the wind comes from the west, which means it cuts across you. Um, in this situation here, because there's a storm down in Florida right now, there's a hurricane, so the winds are starting to pick up and they're coming from the south. Okay, so this is the this is gonna be the part where Gord complains again. That be it's gonna be like this all the way back now, buddy. <laughs> One more height spot. <laughs> right on cue. <laughs> was that uh, was that informative or was that Gord bitching again? No, I'm not bitching. <laughs> We're here, we gotta get through a wedgie match. <laughs> Are you going somewhere? Yeah, I'm going. Hey? Okay. <laughs> 
So it's not, we're not actually paddling up the, uh, down the Grand River now, Gord, we're sailing. We're tacking back and forth across this river. Okay. Only we're not trying to catch it, the wind, we're trying to avoid it. Say the fucking river again, buddy. <laughs> okay, well, now you're gonna get a little bit of water. Look, right? It's like, yeah, we've had a little bit of like... Woo! Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> See? I know it's harder to get, get down the river, but it does make the paddle more interesting. to paddle as hard if you stay to the sides, but I take the more direct route when I like to paddle and uh, I don't mind playing in the waves, it's actually making it more interesting now. I'm getting to the point where I'm not making much headway, but as Gord is about to prove to me, because he's not cut across on the other side, and he's on the, uh, the windward side, I guess, if they want to call it that. So he's now getting some protection from the bank. But I'm still trying to go the more direct route. It worked for me last time. To win like this, I wish I had a larger kayak with at least a skeg, but even a rudder would be great. And this is us tucking out of the wind. <laughs> Well, we made a friend today because that heron's been following us the last two hours.
Gordon's all over there. <laughs> He's ma making better progress over there, but his boat's two feet longer than mine. Two and a half feet longer than mine. And it paddles into the wind a lot better than this does. This is still better than my other kayak, so. Time for a bigger boat, though. Well, we've seen plenty of hair, eh? Because that's a different one. That's the fourth one now. Yeah. Well, there's always lots of different birds here. But I have, yeah, a hawk there, too. I know. I haven't seen any cormorants down this side of the river, though. I haven't seen any cormorants. And when you go up, you know, towards Paris and further north from there, you see them there. Maybe they leave this time of year. Maybe they migrate somewhere. And the heron just... Stick I know when you see a lot of cormorants, you don't see a lot of heron. Because you see cormorants all over the place in Florida. I think we're getting it in Onondaga now. And some of the gas stations are up above. But if you come down County Road 54, which is the Grand River Parkway, you drive it all the time. Um, really nice road. Um, then you get all, all of those gas stations all clumped together. So I think that's where we are on the river, which would mean that I think we may have, maybe have three more kilometers left. We'll see, but uh, I don't think we're far now. Makes it a much more interesting paddle when you throw a 30 kilometer an hour headwind if you're in the center of the river. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, uh, you gotta stay out of that wind. The board's cutting across. I'm gonna keep on just going straight down the river. I'm gonna hit more wind, but it's a more direct route. When really actually coming down the stretch of the river, only had one chance to actually physically get out of the boat. So right now my priority is finding a place where I can get out and stretch my legs for a second. But we're we're almost three hours into the paddle now. I think we're now about uh, two kilometers upriver from Chiefs Woods Park. We'll know for sure when we see the bridge. Um, I think it was about a half an hour to go anyway, and then we should be done. Section of the river I probably, uh, if it's not a windy day, we'll come back to, but the reality is there's so many other parts of the Grand River that are better than this, though, so it'd be hard to suggest to come here if you haven't been to some of the other spots first. Uh, because there are definitely much better sections of the Grand River. If, for example, you're in this area of the Grand and you want a nice little paddle, the paddle from Caledonia down to Cuyuga is much better than the paddle from Brantford down to C uh, Caledonia. Anyway, it was nice to get out uh, late in the season. Um, the rivers are kind of low, at least the ones we normally paddle. So this part of the Grand is always deep. You never have a problem with water. You do have a problem sometimes with wind, which is what we have today. But uh, we kept on ducking in and out of the wind, so it wasn't that bad. Um, didn't quite make the, as quick a, a progress down the river as we normally would, though. 
and there aren't an awful lot of places to get out. So four and a half hour paddle probably in total and really only one spot for a break along the way. So. sense of how wide the river is. <laughs> There's Gord all the way over there. The river's really wide down here. I think we're into the teeth of the wind once I get around this corner. The funny part is you can't stop paddling. Because as soon as you do, your boat loses all the momentum. Yeah, you just, just stop, stop there. All the momentum is gone. Yeah, I said earlier in the video, this is a, a stretch of river that we've always skipped. That's why we've actually done 50 kilometers, 60 kilometers further downstream from here, right? All the way to Cayuga. Because this is just big flat water. All the way to Caledonia. Well, at least we can say we've done it. Okay. And we can also say we don't need to come back. Yeah, but I, this stretch of river, you're always going to get wind, man, on, this, on the Grand River here. We always get wind here. Yeah, well, pitter patter, get at her then, make haste. Last little bit's not bad. I said this last little bit's not bad because the wind has died down. Well, well, for the next two hours, it'll be nice. Was that sorry? For the next two hours, it'll be nice. It's, <laughs> it's not the next two hours, Gordon. If we're on the river for half an hour, I'd be very surprised. Another half hour? Yeah, I, I would be surprised if it's half an hour. There's your bridge. Okay. Yeah, see? We're, we're there. We're back. I can't yeah, the bridge is right there. So we're back. We're 10 minutes, man. That's it. We're done. So, yeah, we'll be off this route. That might not be the right bridge. It's the right bridge. There's only one bridge that crosses the, the river between where we started and where we uh, are getting out. There's only one bridge. This is Chief Woods Road or whatever it is. This is that. Uh, the park is just on the other side. My whole time, whole time coming here going, I, you know, I never checked if it was only 15 kilometers, because he would tell me that just to get me here. It's probably about 20. No, it's only, a, it's a 50, a 15 kilometer paddle without wind, you know, definitely doable in three hours, because you can't really get out along the way. Um, so I, I, no but, but you know what, Gordon, I'm just checking my watch now. It's five o'clock, man. So we didn't get into the water until two, right? So we got into the water for two. It's three hours to here, three hours and 10 minutes. And we kind of stopped and drifted for a bit. So we still maintain a pretty good pace. Yeah, there's just no post in here. This is all, it's all No, it's all work. But you know what? See, I, I've been saying one of the things I would like to start doing is I, I actually would like to start doing open water paddling, which means we've got to take an open water course and I need a bigger boat. Um, 
But then you can go do Lake Erie, Lake Huron, Georgian Bay. You know, you can do all the larger lakes. And like Lake, okay, Tobemori is an amazing place to paddle, man. Have that you ever been? Be, I, okay, that one would be okay. Tobemori, but but you want to be able to go. You want you want to be confident enough to get across that water, provided that the weather's good enough to get across that water to the island. And you got to know what you're doing to go across that 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 stretch of water. Because it's open water, man. You can get into trouble. Yeah, you can get pretty wavy out there. But then there's all kinds of stuff that you can do along the shoreline. Because I've had kayaks up on that part of Tobemori. Like, I've had kayaks up in Tobemori three years in a row up there. Right? And we've had four or five kayaks sometimes. And we still get out and cover a lot of the coastline. We just don't go away from the shore too far. What's that? Man, no kidding, right? To lift these panels. Well, it looks like we are, we're back to Chief Woods Park uh, on the Grand River now. So we, yeah, I can see it. We finished our 15 kilometer paddle. It took us three hours and 15 minutes. And we kind of had a, kind of a break along the way uh, to drift a bit. And I did get out once, um, but uh, yeah, three, three and a half hour paddle, 15 kilometers. We had some pretty, pretty strong headwinds too along the way. So I actually thought we made pretty good time. Uh, it's a paddle we've never done. We've avoided this stretch of river for the last three years, as a matter of fact. We've actually paddled many sections down below here, um, all the way down to Dunville, actually. Um, but uh, I have left this particular stretch off. Now, I came to do it today because most of the other rivers are low, as I said earlier, and uh, I think we'll probably put this on uh, our do it in a couple of years list, because we definitely won't do this again anytime soon. But it was still nice to see the river. Um, it's a big stretch of river though, so you have to be prepared for what you get yourself into, especially if it's windy. It's basically a lake the whole time. <laughs> hey, what's that? Bring, tell your people to bring a motorboat. Yeah, no kidding. Hey, uh, come down to Chief Woods Park. Actually, lots of places on this stretch of river you can put your boat in. You got a motor. This is a much better stretch of river. Uh, probably not the best place to go kayaking anyway. But hopefully you enjoyed the video and uh, we gave you some guidance on the stretch. And if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe, and we will see you in the next video. Uh, we've still got a couple of weeks of paddling left, so hopefully we'll, back, we'll be back out next time. We're at the park. There's more docks, buddy. Don't worry about it. That's the park right there. Panicking, man, don't panic. <laughs> this is the park right here. Yeah, actually, this uh, this place we kind of did a little bit of a, a tour when we got here. Um, nice little campground, actually. I'd come here, um, tent, trailer, or even if you wanted to rent it. Looks, yeah, it, it actually, they have some uh, little cottages you can rent here as well that look really cute. So I'd actually come back to this little spot here. It's nice. Really nice little spot.